Hi there, and welcome to day 16 of 30 Days of Prayer for Our Children. Today, we are going to be praying that God would just cultivate in our children a heart of gratitude. I think this is so foundational for abundant living, for for living joyful lives. It's turning this entitlement mentality or this um, scarcity mentality into a mentality of abundance, not seeking after the next shiny new thing, but looking inward at what God has given us already and the blessings that we have right in front of us. First Thessalonians 5.18 says, give thanks in all circumstances for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. So this kind of is two faceted. You have the heart of gratitude, just looking at the blessings God has given you. But then there's this next kind of deeper level or the other side of the coin, which is giving thanks for the thorn in your side. Um, and, and being grateful even for the difficult things that come along. And that's kind of the next level. And, uh, you know, I'm not always there. So, uh, you know, I, I'm sure if we're not always there, our kids aren't always going to be there, but we can hope and we can try to be a good example of that. It, and, and even where we fail, we can pray that God would make our kids better, that he would just help make them better than us in that area and allow them to see the blessing in all circumstances. Um, I think that for myself, I have done a very poor job of not cultivating an entitlement mentality in my kids. I mean, I've tried and, and they're great kids and they're amazing, but they live pretty easy lives in general. And they do like shiny new things. And I've got to just confess that. And some of that's my doing because of giving them things and not intentionally, but in practice, focusing on material possessions. And I know that's not what I want in my heart for them. And I've, I've taken measures, my husband and I both have tried to take measures to curb that a little bit, but we've not done the best job. I'm going to be totally honest with you, but it's my heart's desire for them. It is my heart's absolute desire that they would be looking at the intangible, that they would be always thankful for the things that they do have and not what they don't have, that they would always be looking for God's hand at work in whatever their circumstances are and being grateful just for who he is, not even what he would do for them, but who he is. So let's just pray, because I need this more than anybody, that our children would have hearts of gratitude and, um, and that we would be great examples of that to them. God, we just thank you so much for who you are. God, not for what you will give us or what you have given us, but just who you are. That is enough to keep us grateful for the rest of our lives on earth and then for eternity, just worshiping you holy. Holy, holy is the Lord Almighty. God, you are worthy of our praise. You are worthy of our thanks. And we just thank you. We are grateful for the sacrifice that you made, sending your son Jesus to die for us, to take on the penalty of our sins so that we can walk in newness of life, free from the penalty of sin and free from the burden of the law. Oh God, we are so grateful. God, from that point of just stripped down gratitude, we pray that you would build on that, that we would be able to see all the other blessings in our lives. We pray that same thing for our children, God, that they would be brought back to the basics, that their primary gratitude would be in who you are, who you are to them, and not just the things that you'll do for them or have done for them. And then it would build to be grateful for the things that you have done for them and the things that they have in their lives, whether material or not. God, we just pray against a materialistic or entitled mentality in ourselves so that we can be an example to our children in the way that we give gifts to our children, the things that we choose to give them in the way in which we choose to give them, um, that you would give us creativity in how we can cultivate hearts of gratitude in them. God, help us to be better parents. 
Help us to be better examples and better shepherds as we lead them in the way of this materialistic world. God, we just pray for them now that whatever they're facing, whatever their life looks like, whether there's plenty or scarcity in worldly terms, that they would be feeling abundant and sensing abundance and seeing your abundance and your hand at work in every aspect of their lives. In Jesus' name, amen.